what are some of the things you want to focus on that you'd like to see uh, you know, done as chairman, uh, and a little bit of why you're running, that kind of thing. And also, I mean, you've been here before, but we'll also ask you about you know, your background, tell folks a little bit more about who you are, if that's okay. That's fine. Sounds good. I brought myself some notes because you know, I'm getting older now. I gotta <laughs> Believe me, I know. Excellent brain. <laughs> <laughs> I know sometimes when they come here to check on one of the machines or something, they said, why do you have 17 websites open at one time? I said, because well, I need it all right in front of me or I'll forget what I'm talking about. So, uh, so what else has been going on? Campaigning. Yeah. Campaigning. Hi, my name's Gretchen. Hi, my name's Gretchen. Hi, my name's Gretchen. Hi, my name's Gretchen. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing when you've got a whole county. I mean, I guess you do go door to door some, but I mean, that's... How do you, I don't know how you approach that. I mean. Well, you sort of look at where your best voters are, and try yeah. to get to them, yeah. and um, go to a lot of events. Yeah. You know, go uh -huh. any place that anybody invites me. They want to meet me. I'll go there. I'll meet them. <laughs> you know, I'll talk to them about how great I think the county is. So. Yeah, yeah, that's good. How's John doing? He's good. Good. He's good. good. Ooh, busy. We're all very busy, and you know, we have the farm, so you can't just ignore that. You know, how big's your farm? Well, we mostly grow pine trees, but we have uh, more than 190 acres. Oh, wow. And then uh, what we're farming in terms of vegetables and stuff is about five. So. Uh-huh. Well, that's still, that's a lot that's to get to. Yeah, yeah, that is. That is. Uh, do y'all, I mean, do y'all sell it commercially? or? I mean, um, yeah, we, we, I sell it the farm days, but yeah. we also sell our okra at Carter's and um, yeah. Farmer Brown. And okay. The Whisk. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, every, I say that a million times. I think, I've never been to the Whisk. And, uh, oh. I know, I, and we do a lot of, my wife, we have a, of course I live in Tifton, but we have some good friends of ours. Do you know Leanne Colbert? I do. Yeah, yeah, Leanne's, a, we go to church with Leanne, she's wonderful. Yeah. And, uh, matter of fact, my wife's going on a mission trip at the end of October, and uh, Leanne said, don't worry, I'll feed you one night. I said, thank goodness, because, <laughs> but she does the farmer's market there, so we're there every Saturday, and this is, uh, well, I wish more people would take advantage of that, it's a great thing. So. Yeah. Yeah, we met Leanne through the Georgia Organics. Yeah. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law bought me a Georgia Organics membership one year for Christmas. And oh, that's good. how we got to know her and she Denise was. and a lot of really great people. Yeah, she's great. She's yeah. great. Ooh. Well, we did a uh, little talent show at our church. We went to the Episcopal Church in Tipton. We did a little mm -hmm. talent show. And uh, Albert, her husband, got up and did his render solo, uh, you know, the mm -hmm. old Archie Gamble thing. And... Uh, we raised about four thousand dollars that night, which all went to the mission trip, which was good. So, Excellent. yeah, she, Leanne, so, she's a fireball. If you want something done, generally you ask her, and she gets it done. So. Uh, now, this let's see, somebody sent me something else. The American Association of University of Women Political Forum. Is that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they just sent me something to warn me to advertise that too. So, that's Wednesday the twenty fourth. And for some reason, also, I don't know what, and I didn't know until the marriage mentioned to me, those headphones are not working. And I don't, I'm not technically savvy enough to know how to fix them, but you don't need it. We'll take calls, we'll just come talk. So, but just if you, you aren't okay. worth putting those on, I'm not sure why they're not working. So. Yeah, I got a bunch of forms coming up. Yeah. That's good. More yeah. chance to talk. That's okay. Right. I'm not trying. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, back on the morning drive, 734 on this Thursday morning. Thanks for spending part of your morning with us. This interview segment brought to you by our good friends at Kelly, Lovett, and Blakey, providing experience and supportive counsel to help their clients through the process of filing bankruptcy. Again, their Valdosta office is located at 2912B North Oak Street, 242-8838, or you can go to bankruptcy GA. Dot com and uh, don't be intimidated by the process. Let the professionals help you out, and they'll be glad to do that. We continue our series of interviews with local political candidates this morning, and they're glad to have in the studio with us uh, Gretchen Quarterman, who is a candidate for the Dallas County Commission Chairmanship. And uh, Gretchen, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. We're appreciative of you being here. I know it's a very busy schedule, probably more so than anyone can uh, realize whenever you're running for an office like this. Well, running countywide is uh, uh, pretty big. Our county is big from Lake Park to Hay Hira, Naylor, 
You know, it's a big county. A lot of ground to cover. And it is. Uh, first of all, before we get into uh, why you got into the race, tell folks a little bit about yourself. A lot of people, I'm sure, uh, know you because you've been here quite a while and been very active for quite a while. Well, uh, my husband and I live in the north part of the county. Um, he's a born and raised here in Lowndes County, went to Lowndes High, uh, graduated in 1972. We got married here in 1993 uh, at his parents' house, and um, we moved back here permanently in 2007. So we have a farm out there, and uh, I grow vegetables and pine trees and have a really great time here. So you've got to be appreciative of the nice weather we've had lately. Oh, delightful. <laughs> delightful. Now, uh, first of all, let me ask you why you decided to run for this office. What about it attracted you? Um, well, first of all, actually, Paul decided he wasn't going to run again, so it was an open seat, right. um, and that makes it an easier run rather than running against an incumbent. Mm -hmm. And uh, our county government does a lot of stuff really great. Uh, I've been watching the county government for, you know, four or five years now, and uh, they do some really wonderful stuff. But one of the things they don't do very well is they don't uh, advertise themselves. They're not very transparent. They don't say what a great job they're doing. Um, so I thought we could improve in that area. Gotcha. The, uh, what are some of the issues that uh, have come up or do you think will come up that you want to put a focus on as chairman? Well... Um, I've been taking video of the county commission meetings for the last uh, almost three years now, and uh, I think that that's something that the county could do. They could live stream the meetings. They could put them on the web. web. Uh, Glynn County already does that, um, so there's precedent for that in our state. Um, the co packets that the commissioners get um, could be, uh, Glynn County puts theirs on the web at the same time that the commissioners get them. We could do that so citizens could be more well informed about the issues that are coming up at the meeting. So simple things. Yeah. And then again, in the world and the age that we live in, I would think that would be fairly easy to do. I, I would think so. Yes. <laughs> Not that I can do it, but somebody out there, so, some smart person could do it. So. Uh, the IT department here, um, Aaron Kostiu, is excellent. He really has a good grip on uh, the needs of IT in the mm -hmm. county. So. Uh, I know, uh, again, Gretchen Quarterman joining us this morning. She is a candidate for the Lowndes County Commission Chairman uh, seat, which is open again the uh, November the 6th general election. And a reminder, early voting begins on Monday. And we've seen good turnout. It seems like not just here in South Georgia and in Lowndes County, but nationwide the numbers have been higher for early voting than they have been in the past. Is that what you're hearing as well? Uh, well, our early voting hasn't started, but I did hear that uh, Georgia sent out quite a large number of absentee ballots. So... Mm -hmm. um, I hope that they'll be good turnout. Yeah, I think we saw that in the uh, primary elections, and so uh, hopefully, I don't know what the percentages are, but uh, you know, more chances to vote means more people voted. We hope. So. Right, and I did hear that the board of elections here in Lawrence County was quite busy on Tuesday, the last day to register to vote. That's good to hear. That's good to hear, as we uh, want people to, even if they move to another part of the county, to make sure that they are registered for November the sixth. And Gretchen, we hear a lot of talk about growth in the county, and I know that's a big issue, and. And growth, I think everybody sees as good, but I think everyone wants smart growth. And you hear that term thrown around a lot. Uh, what are your thoughts on what's the future of Lowndes County over the next, let's say, you know, five, ten, even uh, longer than that? Well, um, that's a good question. Uh, the county commission a couple of years ago had a, uh, two different studies commissioned about growth and planning. And one of them was, um, let's see, how did, how did it say um, growth in close to existing services. So uh, the county already has a urban service area, like how far the water line goes, how far the sewer line goes, and that growth should be infilled and not expand outside of that area mm -hmm. um, because that saves resources in terms of uh, how far you have to send the sheriff, how far the school bus has to go. Mm -hmm. And they also gave an a average house price, what it costs in terms of property taxes to support the services that are sent to uh, development. Gotcha. So I would say close into existing services is the way to go. Uh -huh. um, we really need to bring a mix of jobs to our community, but that's not something that the county commission does directly. That's something that's handled by either the industrial authority or the chamber of commerce. Uh -huh. um, but we need to actively seek out manufacturing jobs so that we have something that people can do, um, like Dublin, Georgia did, and Norcross, where they got solar manufacturers to come to their community they now make something that they send away and they make it over and over. Right. We need to do something like that here. Uh, the other thing is um, we need to expand the hospital, and we're doing some of that now, but we need to become a health care destination. And rather than our citizens going to Gainesville or Columbus for specialized things, we need to have those services here. Because I hear that, that there's a lot of things that you're talking about as specialized um, surgery or whatever it is. 
uh, specialized treatments, you do have to go for I know people go to Jacksonville or go to Gainesville with Shands or even to Atlanta or Macon, wherever. And uh, there's just, a, we're kind of in a gap here where there's not, uh, you know, in our immediate area in Albany and other places, uh, there's certain things that just aren't offered to you. There's no, there's no, other, where for, uh, no other place for them to go. That, that's exactly right. And, and with the moving of the library and the auditorium, that does offer the opportunity for the uh, hospital to expand. And with a uh, partner with VSU and the new healthcare training stuff, well, we can then train therapists and nurses and, and uh, become even maybe a teaching hospital where doctors that are training somewhere could you know, do their internships here. That mm -hmm. would be great. Now, as, as it relates to the County Commission, how does the County Commission kind of uh, serve as a catalyst, I guess, to get that going or to, to help shepherd that in? Well, the, the most direct thing that the County Commission does that way is they appoint people to boards and authorities. So they appoint people to the industrial authority or to Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. Parks and Recreation is another place where we're bringing people into our community as a destination with ter baseball tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, we could do something similar if we had soccer fields. Sure. So if we built some soccer fields and became a soccer tournament, we have great weather here, so we should really be taking advantage of that. And we're title town, so we're already sports focused. Exactly. So we could do things like that. And location as well, easy to access from wherever. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why we have the distribution centers here, because right. we have great access. Absolutely. Again, I I always call it kind of the magic location here because when you talk about the ports over in Savannah and uh, close to Florida, I mean, I would think if you're trying to attract industry, of course, our industrial authority, I think, does a good job of that. We've got a lot of things to sell here. so Yes, we do. Again, Gretchen Quarter been joining us this morning. She's a candidate for the uh, chairmanship, the Lowndes County Commission, that uh, vote coming up again on November the 6th. Anything that, as you've been out talking to people, and I know you've covered a lot of ground over the last several months. Anything uh, that surprises you that people are interested in or that they ask you questions about or what are some of the questions you get most often? Um, the, the, it's not really a surprise, but the thing that's um, really enjoyable is how nice people are. When I talk to them, they're really so kind, so encouraging, so appreciative of the fact that people will run for office um, and that's really wonderful. I, I like that. That's good to hear because it's a tough thing. It, it is. It's a lot of work. Um, and every candidate, I mean, if you know somebody that's running for office, they're your friend. Uh, <laughs> they would like your help. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Because it is uh, demanding of time and resources and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, whenever you talk about, and we've spoken about this before on the show, uh, you're running as a Democrat. And how does that relate to... Uh, what people, you know, in the National Democratic Party, or, or is there any real relation between when you're talking about local government, local politics? Well, our local issues aren't really partisan issues. Um, how we grow our community uh, isn't a partisan issue. How we provide emergency services isn't a partisan issue. Um, Democrats are about making sure that everybody uh, fares equally, you know, mm -hmm. that we're helping everybody. Mm -hmm. So, it's, yeah, it's the, you know, and sometimes there's the argument, I think, that some of these. Um, positions should not be, they should be nonpartisan, and that's uh, maybe another issue for another day, but, uh, but certainly, uh, you know, I think as, um, as you get out and talk to people, when I, when I hear people talk about local issues and people running for local office, they don't talk much about party. Yeah. I mean, it's just about, you know, what can we do to keep Lowndes County going in the right direction. So. Well, in, in our community, too, we have the five cities and the county. And, you know, everybody that lives in the city also lives in the county, but there are people that live in the county in the unincorporated areas. And we need to really think about we're a community as a whole and how can we help our whole community, how can we help our metropolitan area too, because we, you know, work closely with Brooks and Lanier, Cook Counties, mm -hmm. so we have a lot of synergy with them, and, and we need to think about our whole area. Somebody, some people I think see those county lines, but they're just invisible lines, and uh, so there are a lot of issues that do affect us regionally. I think as we kind of move in that direction. Um, again, Gretchen Quarterman joining us this morning. You mentioned something that you've been filming the Lowndes County Commission meetings for three years. Just about. Yeah. yeah. Have you been able to um, get a better understanding of how that works through doing that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But w one of the things that's, um, in my mind, lacking right now, the meetings are extraordinarily brief, and mm -hmm. there's not a lot of questions or discussions in the meeting. Um, and as chairman, I, I think that uh, people don't come to the meeting because they're there for six or eight or ten minutes and, and they just feel like, well, why should I spend ten minutes they're not going to discuss anything? Mm -hmm. and, and I think people would be more interested in coming to the meetings and interested in government if they could see it going on. So more discussion among uh, commission members mm -hmm. out uh, during the actual meeting. Exactly. 
because certainly we know that there are things discussed in executive session or other committee meetings and that kind of thing. But uh, but the, that time they get to the meeting, you're right. It's just kind of a let's hear it and vote on it. So. Right, and and I know that uh, citizens have uh, questions. I highly recommend that people contact. If you have a question, contact your commissioner, or even contact not your commissioner. I mean, the commissioners will pretty much talk to anybody. Sure, absolutely. Do call them. Absolutely, and the interesting thing that's going to be coming up in this election is the kind of the restructuring of the commission because with the new super districts, and I tell people, they say, yeah, I have, I have two representatives now. I said, well, no, actually you're going to have three because the chairman serves everybody, mm -hmm. and then the two super districts serve you, and then you'll have your regular uh, commission members as well. So you actually have three uh, ears that you can bend if you uh, have a question about something. Absolutely, and, and those two new uh, members will be voting members, so we'll have five voting members and then the chairman. Exactly. So, uh, again, a lot of good stuff going on in Lowndes County, and it sounds like, uh, of course, there was a, a decision made with the trash, I know, uh, issue, which I know you've mm -hmm. probably heard a lot about that. Um, not as much as I would have liked, um, but <laughs> I, I did hear quite a bit about it, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I know, been on the minds of a lot of people uh, here, and that's just one of the issues. Again, that goes along, I think, with growth of the county, and you talk about smart growth, people want to make sure things are handled in the right way. Well, and, and with uh, trash disposal, that's really a safety issue too because we don't want to have trash piling up say on the side of the road or people not disposing correctly of their trash and, and having it become an unsanitary condition and yet we want it to be affordable so that people feel like they're getting a good service for their money. And that uh, segues into a nice plug for our friend Aaron Strickland at Keep Lounge by Austin Beautiful to make a difference day coming up October the 27th. Aaron was with us uh, yesterday to tell us about that and that's a good way for you to volunteer and help. Uh, they just had the big river cleanup this past weekend and uh, get a good chance for you to get out and uh, keep Valdosta and Lowndes County looking nicer. So, Gretchen, uh, Gretchen, good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Gretchen Quarterman, a candidate for the uh, chairman of the Lowndes County Commission. Again, uh, early voting starts on Monday, and if you want to do that, uh, you have the uh, ability to do that three weeks uh, leading up to November the 6th general election. Once again, we'll remind you of our candidates for one week from tonight at the Rainwater Conference Center where you'll be able to hear from uh, a lot and hopefully all of our candidates who will be there to uh, hear what their thoughts are and uh, we hope you join us then. That's going to be 7 o'clock one week from tonight. We'll take a break and come right back. More of the Morning Drive coming up right after this. On News Talk 105.9, this is WVGA. <clears throat> well, thank you, ma'am. Hope that wasn't okay. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it's uh, kind of hard to get into specifics sometimes, but...